So what's nice about the electric shifting and what the big difference is to cable actuated that you can adjust every single gear like in the middle or the upper or the lower end of the cassette if there's a little bit of a skipping you can basically hit either of the gears let's just say you're, you're skipping a little bit on gear number four and then you can give this value up or down plus or minus so the range for gear four they say it's 340 to 740 i don't know what that is millimeters i have no idea but that setting you can go up or minus so let's just say it doesn't it's not working properly because it should be a little higher a little more plus so you just keep tapping this and then you say sure and uh and then you see until it runs smoothly and you can do that for every single gear on the cassette so you set your values where they are the most ideal so you don't have any skipping gears at the top or the bottom range so that is the big game changer from mechanical shifting to electrical shifting that you can inv individually adjust each gear within the cassette i've been riding this uh, a couple times now and uh, ready to go on another ride so far everything has been working great there's one thing i want to change i want to change the wheel top uh electric shifting setup uh, right now, the way it's set up, the way it came from the factory is that this long paddle on the right side uh, downshifts the rear derailleur. The skinny paddle uh, on the right side does the front derailleur up and down. And the uh, left side, one paddle uh, actually shifts the front derailleur now. So I'm going to switch this over to have uh, the way I run my E-Tap on another bike where right side is down left side is up on the rear and then i want to switch it where this little guy only does the front derailleur i gotta connect to the wheel top ab and make sure um, we're connected to the units um, sometimes you have to uh, wake these units up uh, it's up just want to shake them wake them up that they're not in sleep and then hit Bluetooth and it should connect right to it. Yep, and there we are. So the good news is you get to see your battery level on all your devices. So the rear derailleur is 95% right now. Front rear is 100, obviously. You just, you just don't shift that much in the front. Accessory management. The one thing about this app is it works pretty well but there's a couple of things that are weirdly lost in translation so instead of right hand left hand to say left finger right finger uh, there's a couple of words that could be better suited to explain the setup the debug debug is kind of also not the best word for what they are trying to do that's kind of where you fine-tune everything and you know set it all up uh free setting so this is exactly free setting also free setting it's not the best choice of words but once you find everything on the app uh then you're good so this is right hand side big paddle that is rear derailleur plus left hand would be rear derailleur down done wasn't that hard to set up? Like I said, the words are kind of weird on the app. Front derailleur, rear derailleur, gives you the unknown. And fine tuning gearing, this is really crucial. I'm gonna go on another ride. Uh, nothing but good news on this so far. I'm really liking this. And especially now that I set it up, one side, right side is down, left side is up. And the front derailleur is just a double paddle. So I think that's going to be a little bit more natural than the factory setting, which I I didn't like that much.
I have this old TCR with a clapped out Ultegra group set on it and it really desperately needed an upgrade. I mean, it's still a great bike and I don't really need the disc brakes necessarily because I'm a fair weather rider. If it's raining, I'm just going to go to the gym. So, but I really like uh, electronic shifting. I have it on one of my other bikes. So when Wheeltop approached me to test one of their group sets, I totally jumped at it because I wanted to upgrade my bike anyway and let's see if this is any good. So at $708 for the brake levers, the front derailleur, the rear derailleur, and the cables and charging wires, this is definitely the cheapest fully Bluetooth enabled wireless shifting system out there right now. There's nothing that comes close in price. Uh, for an extra hundred dollars, you can get the disc brake version. Obviously, I didn't need that. My TCR is old and uh, it's all rim brakes. And so I got the rim brake version. Everything is super well made. Carbon fiber wherever they can. Brake levers are carbon fiber. The paddle shifters feel solid. The front derailleur feels solid. Mounting hardware. Everything feels really well made not very plasticky the batteries are permanently attached don't know how i feel about this but that is probably how they got their water immersion resistance rating so you can do your creek crossings and run in the rain and don't worry about anything ever breaking because it's one sealed unit okay let's get into the installation of the electronic shifting group you get to rip all the cables and housings of the shifting out. I mean, you still need the brake cables, obviously, because it's rim brakes. It's a really nice feeling to pull out the cables and the housings for the shifting, the derailleurs and the front derailleurs, knowing you never ever are gonna have to try to funnel a wire or cable through the frame again. Now you're gonna need a five mil Allen wrench to get to the screw uh, and pull the hoods back a little bit so you can tighten it down, put it in the right position, hook up your brake and uh, that's the easiest brake. To get the front and rear derailleur on, you're gonna have to uh, split the chain or if there's a power link on it, you gotta you know pop that or you know if there's a pin, you gotta break the chain. And then uh, obviously you gotta get the old derailleur out. Uh, you can put that aside, you wanna hold on to it or not. Uh, and then get the new derailleur mounted and that's basically it. You don't need to run any wires or cables, it's amazing. Same with the front derailleur. And then you can run your chain through it. Out of the box, the shifting actually worked almost good. Uh, obviously I had to adjust on the app, the cassette. I have a 10 speed cassette. You can choose from three to 14 speeds, uh, depending on what kind of cassette or gearing you have. The chain needed to be longer than what I had originally because of the pulley wheels on the derailleur is a lot longer than what I had on my older Tega because this derailleur can handle a cassette from 10 to 36 teeth. To charge the front and the rear derailleur, you have this super long charging wire and it connects via a magnet. It's sort of like the Apple laptop magnets uh, charging wires. Um, there's these little rubber grommets that are uh, covering the charging ports. Um, they're doing a good job with the waterproofing, but it's really hard to close the rear one. The front derailleur seems fine. The rear derailleur grommet is hard to get uh, pushed back into place. So it's a little annoying. I think it could be done better, but the charging wire is super long. So it's great. You can plug it in somewhere and still have your bike hung up on the wall. So that's a big bonus. And you have a little red indicator light that the unit is actually charging. Now to access the shifter batteries, which are CR2032s, you have to pull the hoods back and you can just use a quarter and, you know, quarter turn, open that and you right, get to the CR2032s and you can replace them. Now, as far as the battery life goes on the derailleurs themselves, uh, Wheeltop claims 20,000 operations in 800 charge cycles. So that should last years, I would think. Um, I'm not sure if you could replace them. I don't think you can. Yeah, I'm gonna cross that bridge when I get there, I guess. But I'm loving this unit. I'm having a lot of fun. So if you own an old road bike and you wanna give it a new facelift and upgrade it, this is totally worth the money. I mean, I'm falling in love with my old TCR again. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.